Hi everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today I'm going to show you all how to reset your Plantronics Voyager 5200. So if your headset all of a sudden stopped working or is causing a number of issues, go ahead and follow this process and see if this gets your headset back and working. First off, you have the headset here. We want to power it off. So that's power on. Let's go ahead and power it off. The next thing that you want to do is go to your cell phone and let me pull up mine. And we're going to go into, uh, so I have an iPhone and you want to go into the settings. Within settings, you're going to go to Bluetooth. And in Bluetooth, you're going to have a number of devices. So you'll see I have a list of devices paired. What you wanna do is you'll see a little eye next to the device. So if you see all those eyes, you'll click, let me just click one for example, um, back. So you'll see QCY, go ahead and click the eye symbol and it's gonna say, forget this device. So you're gonna forget the device. Then what you wanna do is power off your cell phone, power it back on, and then repair your headset to the cell phone. If you don't know how to pair the headset to your cell phone, in the description of this video, there's gonna be a link on how you pair the headset back to your mobile phone. Now, the last thing you wanna do is if either, neither of these steps worked, you want to uh, plug the Voyager 5200 into your computer and then download the Plantronics Hub. So let me show you that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And this is the Plantronics Hub. If you don't have it downloaded, then you're gonna want to go to the Plantronics website. Just go ahead and Google Plantronics Hub. Do that one more time. Plantronics Hub. Go ahead and Google Plantronics Hub. Go to their website and you'll see the Hub desktop. Scroll down and you'll download for Windows or Mac. Whatever you have, download the application and this is what it will show up like. I'm gonna go ahead and, and plug in my headset now. There's a USB cord that comes with it. Plug the USB cord into your computer and then plug the small end into the headset, which there's a small flap right underneath the earpiece. Go ahead and peel that back and then plug the headset cord into there. And you're gonna see in a moment, it's gonna recognize on the screen. I got a beep tone in my headset. Uh, it's taking its sweet time. There we go. And you see the 5200. Now we want to go to notifications and see if there's any updates available. Check for updates. And sometimes this takes just a moment, so bear with me. Okay, this headset is fully up to date, which is good. If your headset is not up to date, it will say something like, click here to update your headset. You would update your headset. And as soon as the headset is updated, it will show that it's up to date. If that doesn't fix the issue, then most likely you're gonna want to request a warranty replacement. If the headset is out of warranty, it may be time for a new headset. If you have any questions here at Headset Advisor, reach out to us. That's the full reset of your Voyager 5200. And if this video was helpful, please hit the like, subscribe, and leave us a comment with your thoughts. And if you have any requests for videos in the future, let us know and we'll have those created. Thanks for watching this video.